It's the second week of September, and Steve, Noah, and I are headed to the great state of New Mexico. Joining us on this hunt is Anthony and Troy from SIG Optics. We've been paired with SIG for the last four years and are super excited to share the elk woods with them for the first time. If you're new to the channel and you haven't seen one of Steve Howard's signature reactions, then you're definitely not going to want to miss this. All right guys, sorry to interrupt. I know you clicked on this video for a Land of the Free Elk video, but we're doing something pretty cool. Right now, we're doing Project Flyway right here on our other channel, our Waterfowl channel, Turkey channel. We're giving away this trailer. It is loaded down Onyx, the Cross, Tangle Free, Apex, Beretta, Go Fast Camper, Mallard Marine, Decoy Dancer, all that stuff's coming inside this trailer. It's free to enter. You can hit this QR code right here, or you can click the link. And all it is, enter your email, you got yourself an entry, and then you can share it on Facebook, get all sorts of bonus entries for you. And also, Black Bear Friday's going on now through December 15th. So for every dollar you spend on the website, you get an entry into a Black Bear giveaway. That hunt is this spring in Oregon. We hope to have you guys here. Back to the video. We'll see you guys in the next one. All right, well, who's driving? I'm sleeping. We are on our way to New Mexico right now, just leaving the office, coming in just to stock up on calls. All the calls that we'll be using on this whole hunt, all season long, is what we sell. These are our calls. These are ones that we made from the two-tone, sound bites, all the calls. Committed read, this is my read, so I'm a little partial to it. Let me just tell you that. But yeah, bugle tubes, everything. We are in-house making everything for you guys. Uh, it works for all LCs. It would mean the world to us if you like this video, if you would support us. Guys, we, we honestly and, and truly from the bottom of my heart, we make the best calls on the market. We're not gonna put out something that's subpar. So if you guys want to uh, support us, we would love it and uh, try it out. I know that will work for everybody. Cody is quite literally making. Making them is headed out the door. Hot off the press. Oh, haven't been getting much sleep this hunting season, so I'm utilizing this right now. Some people just can't hang. <laughs> Remember my first land of the free? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't born when land of the free started. <laughs> Where we at? We made it to the Great Salt Lake, and there is a lot of people here. I don't know how people do it, I don't know how they live in this kind of thing, but we've got to get through this to get to Provo, and then we're bedding down for the night. Done for the day. Steven? Almost Provo. And then once we get there, luckily we only have 11 hours tomorrow. Only 11 hours tomorrow. Ugh. <laughs> we've so made it this far. Oh yeah, we're doing it. We're, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Elk are waiting for us. On the bright side, nothing's blown out of the back of your pickup. No. And the trainees made it. <laughs> Easy, dude. <laughs> Easy. That's a Dodge train. <sighs> Blinker. So, Blinker fluid. Every time. Every time. It's not a tradesman, so I really don't know the ins and outs of it. You know, I really know my own rig. If you view right over here, it's still running. It's still running flawlessly. So. Or um, like elevations and mess, mess them up for a few days. So are you guys from lower elevation? Oh yeah. 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 Zero, I think. Like, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe, right. maybe 50 feet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. We are in New Mexico. We traveled for two days, 16 hours yesterday, 10 hours today. It's been a long haul. We are finally here. 
We've got Team Sig with us. They have been grateful enough to invite us on a hunt and that's what we're doing. We said, absolutely. So, bow elk hunt, New Mexico. Gonna see what happens. Never been here before. Have no idea what to expect. Tomorrow's gonna be kind of a scout day. We're gonna go out, check things out, see what's going on, and then also hunt, obviously. But then we're gonna take you guys along with it using all the born and raised calls and um, see what we can find. All we gotta do is just call two bulls in. And we got eight days to do it. Pull every other day, no problem. Today is day one and you can <laughs> see what we're doing right here. We are pulling out the Onyx and we are gonna go and just see what's here. We got here in the dark last night. We've only been able to e-scout this whole place so we're not sure what's kind of around. We're just gonna go check things out and kind of see what's 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 around here. So that's today's plan or this morning's plan. I don't wanna waste a whole day of just like walking from here when we could actually be driving to something actually good. So we're gonna get some, on some high ridges, do a lot of sound check and if we get a bull going, go down and see what we can do. Hello. Tell me about yourself. My name is Troy Hellman. Troy. Uh, 6'1", I bench like 490. Um, <laughs> I thought I saw 495. <laughs> no, I've, I've known these guys for, shoot, almost 10 years now. And um, I'm with SIG Optics. I'm a brand manager. So we wanted to uh, get you guys out and share the woods a little bit this year. And that's why we're here. Uh, my name is Anthony Cuomo. Um, you have seen me in past films of... Uh, I don't even know, roll but the uh, roll the tape. Appreciate you, <laughs> roll the the tape. Channel, Appreciate you watching the channel. The channel. Um, no, um, I work for SIG Optics. Um, I am a product manager there for the observation category, so binoculars and uh, spotting scopes. Lasers. Oh, That's cool. where you remember me from. Sharks with freaking laser beams. All right, so. We're not all the way up the mountain, we're about three quarters of the way up the mountain, I think. We're just kind of prospecting, checking little spots, bugling and stuff. Haven't heard anything yet. Saw some bucks, that was pretty cool. But uh, today we're just using it for just a look-see, checking out things, marking stuff off the box. So let's just go check some more stuff out here. Sound check him, see okay. exactly. Let's try to get a real pinpoint on it. Yeah. And then we'll just decide.
which is actually a good thing. Um, it's just kind of like a soft spook, but now we'll have the tactical advantage of being uphill in the super, in the super steep stuff, so. Right into like freaking 18 yards frontal. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> he smoked him. Congrats, brother. Oh. He smoked him on the frontal. Oh. oh, I knew he was going to me or you. Good job, dude. Oh. That was I just watched him fall over. <laughs> yeah. Just Did blood you? was pouring out of him. Too. I got it. He's either a big five or small six. Good. He looked like a six. Anthony's like, he's running towards us. And I was like, he's got like a red ring. And then I saw him running towards us and he's just pouring blood. He I can help him. it. When we cow call, he hates that call with a bugle at the, the cow call and the bugle. Dude, when, awesome. cow call, when you cow called my cow call, yeah. he came running. We took him from like there was zero like, to I saw two cows. elevated. Yeah. Two cows. There was two cows standing I think we played that okay. How'd we do? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, guess what? Pull down, gentlemen. Pull down. <laughs> that was quick. Hey, uh, well, we've been here for about like, two hours. Yeah. yeah. I, could, I, yeah. Could, I couldn't help it. Yes. Yeah, I'm like, should I shoot him? And I was like, that's a nice bull. <laughs> okay. I said, <laughs> Copy I said, that. He's running. Drop, 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 drop. <laughs> Shoot, he's nice. <laughs> dude, he just stopped. He stopped. Like, like, he hit frontal. Oh, dude, just yeah. barely hit because I was barely like, barely quartered towards, and Steve put it right on the right side of the neck. Perfect. Just, like yeah. 17 yards, he just stopped looking like right through me. You watched I him fall. He was gonna stop oh, yeah, right fell. Watch him fall. Oh, yeah, he <laughs> fell right there. He's pretty dead. <laughs> he's, he's dead. Dead. He he's stood at like 40, and I have him through the trees. Just good job. I love you, man. Good job. Good job. I couldn't help it. What shot was it? 17. Nice. It was under 20. Hey guys, if you are jacked about this as we are, please subscribe to our channel. We give you guys free content every single time and it's like, it helps us so much if you guys just hit the subscribe button. Actually only about 25% of the people watching this right now are subscribed and it would help us a ton. If you wanna see more hunts just like this, guys, we have a whole archive. We've been doing this a long time and uh, had a ton of fun at it and um, learned a lot along the way that hopefully maybe you can glean some stuff that we've made mistakes from. So if you wanna see that, guys, hit the archives and we have a lot of stuff in the, in the library. Let's go recover a bull. Oh. He's with the bull. I think yeah, 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 big difference. Yeah. Like, like them running around doing yeah, and then ten deer going. I think it helps a lot. He's ready to kick some ass. This is what it's about, guys. So much fun. A whole group of guys. We decided, hey, let's go as a party this morning, and let's all stick together. I think I see something up there, tan. And uh, we stuck together. First bull called, we made it happen. 
team work makes the dream work every time. I see you now, Steven. Big ol' five. Maybe we'll see it? I'll take it. Six point. Dude. Beautiful boy. Dude. Beautiful. It's like a giant four point. Hey. Giant five point. Giant five point. Heck yeah. yeah. Good job. <laughs> Great ball. Wow. Great ball. That was awesome. Your, grocery bill hurts a little less now. A lot less. I yeah. heard that. I heard that. Another bugle. Was there? Yeah. yeah. There's a checkler over here. Yeah, and the thermals are changing too. Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. It's all downhill. Oh, that was awesome. Yeah. It is all downhill. So guys, we are wearing all different camos this year. If you haven't seen some of our earlier stuff, just letting you know, um, Rock and Stone Glacier, this is an awesome jacket. And these pants, super awesome for September. Just trying new stuff out. Um, you know, we're not with First Light anymore. That's uh, a thing of the past. And so now we have the freedom to do what we want with our, you know, camo choices. Stone Glacier under, undershirt, thermals, um, yeah. It's, it's been awesome to test some new gear. There's some amazing gear out there, I will say that. So anyway, keep an open mind when you're picking camo. We're gonna try to do reviews and stuff after season, maybe put all everything together and just like go through and just kind of pick each piece apart, like what we really, really liked about it. A lot of the stuff that you use that we've been using is it's good for like September or something, but it may be not for rifle season or some of the other stuff is good for a little bit cold weather, might not be a good use in, in, in like mid September when it's 90 degrees. So there's, we haven't found any bad gear yet, but it's been, it's, it's been awesome, man. It's been awesome. All right. So we get a lot of questions on frontal shots. We get that there's a lot of people that will not take them, but we have taken them over the years and it is a very lethal shot if it's put in the right spot. So this bull came in and he was quartered slightly too. I mean, he was pretty much straight away, but kind of back in was quartered just barely. I just aimed right in front above the sternum, right in front of the right shoulder, which would be right here. There's a pocket that as long as you're in this above the sternum, you will you will get right into the chest cavity and pretty much take everything out. If you're comfortable with that shot, it's a very, very lethal shot. But if you are not comfortable taking that shot, don't take it. So where the arrow went in right here, it looks like it's like going down the side, but it's actually not because it went in like this, in this way. And then if you draw a line, it's literally straight, going straight in to the vitals into the chest cavity. So it actually, you know, went in like this. This straight line goes right into the center of the chest cavity and it's, just, it's a very, very lethal shot. From impact to him tipping over was maybe a minute. It was fast and he was maybe 60 yards, 50, 60 yards from, from the shot. So it was a very, very quick death. He'll pass over. We're out of here. Well, back to the side by side. Uh, two down the road. Mm-hmm. Yep, head back, get this dude hung up. Go find another one for Anthony. Steve, tell the people what they've won. What they've won? Yeah. Bull elk. Hopefully. That was the last episode, Steve. We're moving on. That's last episode. There's another one coming up. Okay. Good call. I like your call. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Holy Jeez. Got one. We got them all packed out. All done. Taken care of. Sitting right over there by a brand new wall tent. Check that out. Time to go for another one. If you like to see me riding on a side by side, possibly damaging someone else's equipment, you should just subscribe right now. <laughs>